Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on my 99 GMC Sierra. The main thing we're going to do is replace the ignition switch and harness. Um, we're also going to get rid of some other aftermarket alarm stuff, aftermarket remote start. Uh, the main reason for doing the ignition switch isn't that it's bad, it's just where it was patched into the harness. I could get rid of all the extra stuff and solder it, but I figured it'd be better and easier just to go to the pick apart and get one that hadn't been messed with. So we're going to do that. This is my 90 <clears throat> This is my 99 GMC Sierra that I got in hopes of making it capable of pulling a trailer to pull my Jeep and my 240 and whatever if I go to the drag strip or go into the woods. But it's got some other weird issues and I just want to make this thing as simple and dumb as possible. But I've already pulled this off. It's two, let's see. 225s two T25s through these holes takes this cover off and you really don't need to pull this off yet but I already had it off so we'll start with that when you're in here just put your key in pull it down in gear with your foot on the brake and just this thing just pops out now there's already going to be some screws out because I already had this thing apart. So this, just set this out of the way. Now, right here, there's a reverse Torx right here. I tell you that because I didn't know and it was being stubborn and then I just broke my piece. And now I know that there's reverse Torx in there, so don't forget that. I'll probably pull the cluster out of the way first. Looks that way. I've already got the bolts out because I already had the cluster out. Four bolts, one, two, three, four. Kick it out. The plug's right on top. You just pinch this, it releases the catch. Set that out of your way. Now this will come out with some fishing. Come on. Nice and easy. There we go, that's out of the way. This is where that reverse Torx was. Hopefully you can see it right there, into this plastic. I missed that, already broke this. So with that out of the way, we'll put this back in park. Key out. This is fuse cover, pop it out of there. There's two, I believe there's seven millimeters. Let's see, yeah, seven millimeters. One right there, one right there. And this just pops out of the way. And we'll set this aside. Now, let's see, this cover right here, there's four 10 millimeter nuts. There's four, two on each side. I've already pulled mine out. I've got one just sitting here holding it on. They're 10 millimeters, just pull them out, throw this thing to the side. And that's about all the access you have to have to get to everything. Now, the main thing is this right here, this connector. Pull this out, push it over. This is the main ignition switch stuff you need. This is where it's been patched into, and I just don't like this. So I'm just gonna replace it. But there's a big connector behind here. That connector right there, it's got a seven millimeter in the middle of it. You just back it out, pull the connector out. Now, I'm not gonna take this apart. I'm gonna unpin the wires that I wanna replace out of here. So the wires, those go up and around to the ignition switch. And if you just have a small flat blade, there's this little clip here, which I think is for the key identification or whatever, the little ring that picks up your key. Now this, don't just try to pry out this twist out of here. This little white guy, see there's a, there's a clip behind there and you just get your screwdriver in there 
push that clip out of the way and this twist twist pops out that easy now on this side there's two holes that square hole and that square hole if you just pull down just a little bit and take your screwdriver and just push in it pushes those clips out of the way and it will release which I'm gonna need both hands to do it maybe not and this just pops out and this is your ignition switch now I did pretty good I scored at the pick apart this looks brand new someone just replaced this like the plastic is so clean and white this connector is brand new so again these are the wires I'm gonna leave I'm gonna unpin these I could unpin these other ones and use the newer connector but I really don't think it's gonna matter this is the part I really wanted where it's not cut up and been patched into so now we've got to figure out how to get these unpinned and start swapping wires well I about overcomplicated it I couldn't tell with it in the truck because I didn't look that close and I haven't really done much studying on how to do this but now that I have this in my hands we want this center section we don't want these but these come these will separate done so all I got to do is pop those out of the other side on the truck pop this one in clip those in tighten it back up and I've got a new switch side of there that side of there out with the old see that went well I took it off just a second ago and I already forgot which way it went here's for open so that'll go there this will go up to the switch well, that's not bad at all that's no big deal I want that I want that on this side of the airbag wire I don't forget to unhook your battery before you do this I didn't you probably should so that plugs back in there this goes over top of this and around plugs back in see if I got this on the right spot because this is the ignition switch so I think that should be the right spot because that start right there so that should be run accessory off no off accessory ignition start accessory so we want to be right there hopefully get that out of the way I'll figure out what that is too. More garbage. Line that up. And click. This just comes back around. Twist it in. This one over top. we got room that's pretty tight on that one it'll be all right so I was gonna break it getting it in all right that's in that's in I'm wondering what this is I wonder if the tow haul wires are broke on this that's what it is the tow haul wires are broke it's already been repaired once I, I was wondering why it didn't work and that explains it We'll fix that in a different video. All right, plugged in, plugged in, plugged in. So we'll take this seven millimeter. Put this back in its home. Oh, help if I got it lined up. started that's 
snug. And now we see if we ruin the truck. You got to make sure you get this in the right spot. I had it in and it would start and shut off and everything, but I couldn't get it out of park. So I didn't have it in there right. So I figured out if I roll it all the way forward to where it, it, it locks in right there. And anymore, you're about to start. So right there and then turn the key on right to where it detents for on. And you're good to go. This thing pulls this cable, which pulls the release out so you can get it out of park. If it's one tooth off, it won't work. And if it's one tooth off the other way, you can't get to start on the key. So that was the easiest way I found to get it. But that's my, my truck runs. I still have other bugs to fix, but I like this wiring not being all chopped up. I'm gonna throw some tape on this and probably gonna leave this open. There's always something running behind the dash, but it's like not the fan. That should be off. But there's a constant running noise. There's still more stuff for the lights that were behind this bezel. So I want to get rid of that. And right now, my next project is going to be making the cluster work. Everything here works except for fuel level. And it's, this always says fuel level low. And now the odometer says error. So that's going to be my next project is getting that all figured out. Which as many wires as has been cut into this thing as many times as things have been spliced into it i want to fix this and get rid of all this first before i start trying to figure out if it's a factory issue or maybe the cluster's bad or the sending is bad i want to make sure all this is good and i'm happy with it to make sure it's not just something that got corroded from an install from years ago well, that's it for this video that's a step in the right direction. I'm happy with that. It was cheap for me. I'm just I just got lucky and stumbled upon that. It was 18 bucks. I don't know how much they are new, but that was new just at the junkyard. So anyway, hopefully that helps some people and thank you for watching.